NBC News. This is Today. We're back now at 741. You know, every year retailers, big and small, lose billions of dollars to professional shoplifters, people called boosters. Natalie recently took a closer look at who these people are and how they work and what retailers are trying to do to stop them. Natalie? That's right, Matt. And these are not people who are stealing, by the way, out of need or for a thrill, but they are organized criminals working in groups who literally walk out of stores with thousands of dollars in merchandise every day. But boosters beware, because big retailers like Walgreens and Target, armed with sophisticated cameras and intrepid investigators are battling back and hunting them down. They look like average shoppers, but they're not. It's every day, every hour that they're open, it's happening in this store. Look closely in any retail store and you're bound to find them. Boosters. I would make in one day in this area like uh, 3,500. Workaday professional shoplifters stealing thousands of dollars within minutes. In between 35 and 50 billion dollars a year is lost in the retail industry to organized retail theft. But now, armed with their own investigators, big business is fighting back. Just because you're not apprehended when you come to a Walgreens store, don't think that you're not going to get apprehended. By working with law enforcement to hunt them down. There isn't a day that goes by that we aren't having or being the victim of major theft crimes somewhere in our operations. Meet Target's top cop, Tony Heredia, and the individuals he considers the biggest threat to the retail giant's guests. Heredia wants boosters to know Target investigators are always watching. Um, this person's brought a crowbar into the store with them. He's going to think that he's concealed himself behind the electronics uh, counter or boat, as we call it, so that team members can't see him. He'll literally pry the drawer open where we've locked all of our digital cameras. This person will take every single digital camera out of that uh, drawer. They'll put them into a cart. Target considers thieves like these more than a corporate nuisance. They threaten all consumers by driving up the costs of everyday items. And in a tight economy, that's bad news for everyone. This merchandise here is merchandise that's been recovered. Jerry Biggs heads Walgreens Organized Retail Crime Division. This Go entire ahead. warehouse is filled with stolen items and yes. hot items. Yes, everything in this warehouse was uh, recovered from somebody who shoplifted it from a store. A box of dieback test strips, that would be $50 just for the small box. I and they're take, taking shelves full. They'll take thousands of dollars worth at a time. Often working in groups, boosters steal with impunity. These women clear an entire shelf of baby formula before walking the grocery cart right out the exit. Burglary is a felony in every state. In every state in the United States, if I go in your garage and take your bicycle, it's a felony offense. If I go to Walmart in Wisconsin and I take five bicycles, um, each for $100, it's a misdemeanor. So what do you want workaday boosters to know about Walgreens and, and how they're going to go after them? For every day you're in prison, if you're costing me two or $3,000 a day, mm -hmm. that's two or $3,000 a day I'm saving every day you're in prison. And Jerry Biggs is the head of the Organized Retail Crime Division at Walgreens. Tony Heredia is Director of Investigations at Target. And Ron Koziel is with the Violent Crimes Major Offenders Unit at the FBI. Guys, good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Where are these people recruited from? Where, you know, where do they find these boosters? Uh, boosters are, are classified in uh, three categories. When you have the most professional level threes, they're often um, could be illegal immigrants that are, are brought here just to shoplift, paid flat rates, sometimes um, a dollar on the box uh, for, for the merchandise where they're making maybe $500 a day. Some make as much as uh, five to $8,000 a week. And we just want to mention, this isn't just a couple of people. There's a major organization Absolutely. Yes. at work here, isn't there? Absolutely. These organizations range from uh, mom and pop operations, a couple of people, all the way up to organizations involving 40, 50 people uh, who have different jobs in the organization. They're either full-time stealers, they're middlemen, fencers, or they're the uh, organizers of the operation. And Jerry, as we saw, as I walked through that warehouse with you, and I saw the ledgers, I mean, they're bringing yes. in thousands of dollars a day, but they're given very specific shopping lists, right? I mean, Correct. we saw, you know, Gillette razors or hot items, um, d diabetic test strips, baby formula. What are some of the things they Any, go for? Anything that's, that's actually small or anything that the, the um, 
commerce is, is after today. If, if a particular vitamin is popular or a dietary aid, that is also going to be very popular among uh, boosters. And if you miss them as they're getting this stuff out of the store, how do you then go, you monitor these sales sites, is that what you do, and track them down that way? Absolutely. All the biggest retailers are deploying lots of people including investigators, mm -hmm. analysts, and lots of technology, whether it's computer-based technology or video-based technology that allows us to monitor our sites remotely mm -hmm. all the time. And if it takes us months or years to make a case, we're going to do that. And for the consumer, by the way, I mean, who, for example, if you're going online and, and looking on an eBay and you're thinking, oh, let me try to get a deal on baby formula, mm -hmm. you're going to find some of these products there for a lot less. So what is the message to the consumer? You could be buying baby formula that was in somebody's trunk for a couple of days at about the 90 to 100 degree weather. Absolutely. Well, what about the other side? Let's say it's a digital camera. What's the risk to the consumer who's buying that at a discount, not knowing perhaps that he or she's buying a stolen camera? For anything? I think the obvious risk is you don't know where that camera's coming from. Mm -hmm. You don't know who you're dealing with over that online auction because their identities are protected. But more importantly, you're probably supporting a criminal enterprise. And is that what the average consumer wants to do with their money? Probably not. And Ron, it seems the problem here, the, cr the, the penalties aren't severe enough for these crimes. No, it's low no, risk, high return, high return. Right. Um, low risk, high return. The penalties aren't there. We'd like to see uh, better penalties. These criminal enterprises um, um, provide uh, a haven for these uh, boosters and other criminal elements that are uh, not being caught and put in jail. All right, guys, thanks very much. Natalie, thank you very thank you. much. Sure. Something we didn't know about Eye before. Definitely. It, it certainly is. You can watch Natalie's Boosting for Billions special. Sounds like a game show almost. Sunday <laughs> night at 10 Eastern on MSNBC.